about it all week of asking Jamel Herring, what's the game plan? What's the strategy? And how early do you get to it? What do you expect from him? Jamel Herring's got to show that he can deal with the speed of Shakur and that he can start to get his own jab established and slowly start to push Shakur Stevenson back. I don't like what I'm seeing right now from Jamel Herring. He's sitting back right now trying to box with Stevenson when he should be trying to move forward and get into the chest. Right now, Stevenson is fainting and getting the reaction that he wants from Herring. That is to his advantage with the superior hand speed, overall skill, foot speed. He's the better boxer. Right now, Jamel Herring is confident. He does have a good game plan. And Shakur Stevenson has to make Jamel Herring believe he can't win. And he does that by hitting Jamel early and often and not allowing Jamel Herring to get anything back. There's a body shot right hand from Shakur and then goes with the southpaw jab. I see something very appealing from Shakur Stevenson. You see the grease on his body? Yes. <laughs> He's expecting body shots coming from Jamel Herring. Of course, at the discretion of the referee, pre-fight, Mark Nelson looked him over as to whether or not it's acceptable. It, it shouldn't be. But you can see it. And shimmer and shine off of the bright lights here at State Farm Arena. Left hand comes in from Shakur. Laser focus tried to sweep the right hand across the belt line as well. This is how Shakur Stevens is going to slowly take over this fight. is by power boxing. It's not moving around. He can avoid punches, but he has to make Jamel Herring pay when he misses punches. And again, he has to make Jamel believe that he can't win this fight. And Jamel has to start to pick up the pace because even though this is only the first round, Jamel can, I mean, excuse me, Shakur can do this all night long. All night. Jamel has to start to implement the game plan that he's been talking about all week, which is being the bully. If it stays like this, it's on Shakur's terms, Timmy. All night long, Shakur Stevenson is systematically already breaking down and found his rhythm and found his mark quickly in this first round. And you know that Shakur is getting to Jamel right now because he's got Jamel hesitant to throw. Jamel came out going punch for punch. Now he's got Jamel thinking, trying to figure out what to do next. That's the right hand, that left hand I'm talking about. Jamel doesn't see things coming from that side. And he's walking that way at the moment, getting hit with straight left hands from Shakur Stevenson. Ray, you gotta commit, you gotta commit, push him back. And that's bad news for Team Herring when you get that kind of coaching in the after the first round. You would think that maybe that would happen after the midway point in this fight. So it's not looking good for Jamel Herring right now. He can still try to get himself in the fight, but Bo Mack is right. He's got to try to commit and sell out. Dirty the term speed kills. Of course. <laughs> that's what's going on right now. The speed of Shakur Stevenson is too much for Jamel Herring at this moment. He has as much speed as anybody in boxing, there's no doubt about it. We're seeing a little more boxer puncher and offense out of him, but defensive prowess. This is somebody who has wide margins in outlanding opponents throughout his career at a 3.6 to 1 ratio. And there's the left hand at the end of the combination. Touches the jab to the body as well. Who's the bigger man? Who's the bigger man? Is it Jamel Herring or is it Corey Stevenson? Because he's walking down Jamel Herring already, and it's the second round. Well, that's the mistake we make sometimes. We think the taller guy is the stronger guy. The taller guy is the bigger guy. It's not necessarily true. Shakur looks a lot stronger than Jamel Herring to me right now, and a lot thicker. Left hand landing. Good accuracy from Shakur, and then he places it to the body. Had a three-punch combination, couple left hands up top, and then places it to the body. It's a very strong start for the undefeated fighter. That jab right there from Jamel Herring was a half jab, trying to get back to defense <laughs> all at the same time. It's not a good look, fellas. It's not. Just watch that left hand that come over the top right now. From Shakur. Left hand comes in again. <laughs> and again. He said it would be his breakout performance. 
he took criticism for his last performance. People said you could have gotten rid of the guy. You could have pressed the gas pedal a little bit. You see that laser focus early on tonight. Tess, every fighter fights with respect. I understand the belts. Yes, they're, you know, they're respectable in the sport. They're nice to have. But we as fighters, we want to be respected by the people in the industry and the fans. That's what Shakur Stevenson is fighting for right now. And Shakur still got to be smart because Jamel is dangerous with that left hand and he's dangerous with a right hook. And Shakur Stevenson is doing the right thing by marching forward behind the right jab. One, two, backs it up with a southpaw right hook as well. And then from range, back to the jab. Good work. Pinpoint accuracy from Shakur Stevenson with that left hand. Opponent Shakur Stevenson is landing 37% of his power punches the left hand finding its mark Ted soon as that 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 stat creeps up to about 50 <laughs> You could see a stoppage. That's the power punch percentage You saw the total punches in the last round there put up but the power punch percentage right now is 37% Jamel Herring has to ask himself, what is he willing to live with? Is he willing to live with being on the outside of those punches that are not going to stop coming and maybe at some point start looking for a way out or maybe get caught by a big shot? Or is he going to fight fire with fire and do what he told us he was going to do and try to back Shakur Stevenson up and try to rough him up and land a big shot? What is Jamel Herring willing to accept tonight? And right now we're seeing some inflammation under the left eye of Jamel Herring, and that's going to be something they're going to have to contend with in the corner. You see, this is the fight that I knew that Shakur Stevenson had in him. I know he can stand his ground. I know he can fight well in the inside, and he's showing us a different dimension of his skill set. He can do it all. Finding those levels, too. Look at that four-punch combination. Then goes down to the body with a jab, then back upstairs with the left hand three punch combination to the head Shakur is in rhythm here in Atlanta look at this work this looking like Gotti Floyd right now yes it this is looking like Floyd May Mayweather Arturo Gotti right now where you thought the bigger guy was going to going back the smaller guy up but the smaller guy has a lot more physical strength a lot more prowess and a lot more punching power than you thought Aaron ain't gonna lay down though. I'm letting you know that right now. He's a Marine. He's gonna fight back. And I see him. He's trying his spots right now. He's taking those steps forward. That's what he needs to do. To has to take steps forward to have any chance at all. No other, no chance to win standing on the outside of those shots. He's and gotta he let his shots go. Fires off the left hand behind it. Nobody said it would be easy, Jamal. But you got to go forward if you want to get it done. And the game plan for Team Herring is also to try to take Shakur Stevenson into the deep rounds because they feel like he's got conditioning issues. He's never been in a tough fight. So that's also the game plan. The fight is starting to break out now. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Herring's not backing up, and Shakur's still giving. Neither Shakur. Shakur standing right. his ground right now. Bagging up when he needs to and then stepping inside. Right in the center of the ring. Right on that Crawford Porter signage for their big pay-per-view coming up on November 20th as Bud Crawford sits ringside. Time. 59 to 21 connect advantage over the champion. Jamel Herring as we begin round number four. Bomack also said to Jamel, it has to be more than one punch at a time. Bernardo. On the other side, Wally Moses, who's the grandfather and trainer of Shakur Stevens, said, I don't want him to allow Jamel to move to his right. I want him to keep him moving left and to continue digging to the body. We will look for that. Now you see Jamel trying to march forward. He's kind of gotten over that third, those three rounds of shock that he experienced, and now he's starting to try to implement the game plan that he talked about in the beginning, which is march forward behind the right jab and put pressure on Shakur Stevenson. 
and he's doing the right thing because he's moving to his left. He's cutting off that angle for Shakur Stevenson that he's used to, and he's making him and trying to force him right. Bomack, the trainer of Herring, the champion. Excuse me, my correction. Herring needs to push Shakur Stevenson to his left. Keep him from going right. Stop, don't punch. Be careful. Get your head up. Step back. Step back. And right jab is the best thing. Jamel Herring has going for him. That's the only shot he has to actually walk forward and actually get those power shots off that he wants to. If he tries to load up and lead, he's going to get countered. If he sits on the outside, he's going to get picked apart. He's got to get the right jab going to try to push Shakur Stevenson back. Here Just like the, that. Here comes the left hand. You knew it was coming, doubling up that right jab. Tough target to hit, though, is Shakur. Always has been. You're right, Dre, that jab is causing some problems to support Stevenson. Oh, nice shot right there. Lifted him with the right hand. And that got Jamel Herring's attention. As it should. Off angle, didn't matter. Well scored by Stevenson. World title on the line. Stevenson off to a great start. Nine. Aaron's doing a good job behind that jab of his. Landing it on Shakur. That's been the difficult thing task for any fighter. Whoa. Shakur turned him around and now the headshots come in. Able to get around the guard of Herring. Sam Shakur looking more comfortable right now, staying in the pocket, Get your hands blocking free. and picking off some of the shots from, Shakur, from Jamel Herring, and also showing that he's also strong and he can manhandle Jamel Herring, and then countering shots on Jamel just like that. That's discouraging for Jamel Herring because nothing is working at the moment. Hands free, guys. Oh, nice. That's what he has to do. Right hand yes. inside. Has to be willing to just hit him and hit him anywhere and take some chances, especially when you can smother him. That's and he it. just did. Left hand came in Wait, against don't, Stevenson. Don't. And he goes right back into the kitchen again Stop, and lands be to careful. the body, does Herring. Be careful, guys. His best stretch of the fight. Watch your heads. You can see swelling around the left eye. That straight left hand down on the inside. Shakur Stevenson needs to be careful. He needs to time that perfectly because he's leaning right in. The line of fire for the left hand of Jamel Harry. Hands free, guys. Get out of there. Break, I got it. It's a really good round for Jamel Harry. advantage in that last round 13 of the 16 connects for power punches hands free guys get out of there no, hold break. Hold on. Don't, don't grab. the whole time in the fighter meeting yesterday good jab right there from Jamel Herring 
Team Herring said they want they don't believe Shakur St Stevenson had the dog in him. They don't believe if he's pushed to a certain point that he's going to respond. We get to see if he responds right now. You have to push him to that point. You have to execute on that plan to get the answer. Well, we see Jamel slowly trying to do that. He hasn't fully executed, but you see him trying. Ooh, head, head clash. Clash of heads there. Watch your heads, you okay? No. Oh, mean mm. two-piece right there. Timed Both it. of them landed. But the frustrating part, fellas, is not the two-piece. It's when you think you're going to get something back, and the distance and the range and the legs of Shakur Stevenson won't allow you to get back. That's discouraging, fellas. That's demoralizing. Step back all the way. Jamel Herring has to free that one hand, his right hand or his right arm, and just let both shots go. Ooh, he heard Shakur him with that may shot. throw. Right, but he's got a scored throw. well by Stevenson right there. He heard him with that shot. You, you saw Herring leg. off balance for a moment, didn't you, Terry? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And the reason why that shot hurt him is because he didn't see it coming. Quick right hook. Quick, don't punch. I got it. Step back clean. The right hook does damage in the middle of round six. Oh, ooh. same shot right there. If it's working, why go away from it? Look at the swelling around the left eye of the champion here. Great, I got you. You got to understand that that right hook is Shakur Stevenson's power shot. He's a right-handed fighter. He's right-handed, but he fights in the southpaw stance. What an advantage that is. Be able to generate that power as a natural righty, but a gifted and sublimely skilled southpaw in the ring. against the champion Jamel Herring. Yes, the champion, but keep in mind Stevenson, the accomplished Olympian who went on in his 13th fight to win a featherweight championship, said I'm moving up to 130 pounds, 16 and 0, and tonight trying to stay the course to become a two division world champion, and he was the significant favorite. Late money came in at Herring, but Shakur Stevenson, a significant favorite. In the corner, Bo Mack, I asked him, how do you turn things around? He says he has to do what he did in that fifth round. That was his best round. He's got to rough him up, and that's the only chance he has. Okay. Step back, step that was his up. best work of the night, hey, Bernardo, that fifth commands, round. Guys, okay? Come on, keep it clean. There's so much skill going on in that ring from Shakur Stevenson. Both fighters, of course, but Shakur Stevenson makes adjustments. Yes. You know, that's when you're a top fighter. Free. That's when you're one of the best guys in hands the division free, and in the sport of boxing. He took away the angle from Herring by throwing the right hook towards the area where Get he was going. Hands free, guys. That minor adjustment is what's winning Shakur Great, Stevenson this fight. Yes, yeah, speaking of winning the fight, let's look at Andre Ward's scorecard because it's a pretty easy one to score. The only round you Great, could even consider Herring would be the fifth round. Oh, fifth round. That's Absolutely. the only round where he had double-digit connects. He was 12 of 50 still, and Shakur still had seemingly better moments in that round landing 13 power punches so it's a clean sweep right Shakur landed the best punch in that round and he did a little bit more Jamel came on but he let Shakur close it just enough where I gave Shakur that fifth round Jamel well, trying to get around he he, sorry, Mark Nelson. he's trying to get around Mark Nelson just get after it Stop. I was gonna say that this is where Herring said he wanted the fight he either wanted Shakur backing up or he wanted him inside right now Sha uh, excuse me, Jamel Herring has Shakur where he wants him. He's got to try to take advantage, but Shakur is not playing along. Hands free. The mean three-piece right there. See, Shakur is a really good inside fighter. And this is what I've been trying to tell people. He's a Get really there. good Hands inside free. fighter. If he wants to commit Great. to it, he can do it. Landed that short Tell me back right on your pound and pound that rolled. <laughs> <laughs> That conversation is most likely going to be happening 
soon enough if he can continue on the path oh he's goodness. been on in his career. Oh. Keep him up, guys. Hey, keep, up. keep the punches up. Keep, Stevenson's keep got to stay guys. focused. He can't look at the ref because when he did, Jamel Herring did just what he was supposed to do. He landed a straight left hand. Tom to see all the highlights. Watch back the entire fight card. Evander Holyfield's son, by the way, came up a winner earlier tonight here in Atlanta. Round number eight. Team, team Herring has to continue to try to convince him that he can win this fight. Even though he's down on the card, son, you've got to keep pressing forward. Remember the game plan. We said he was going to fade late. We'll never know if that's true if you don't let your hands go and start to hit him any and everywhere. Now, these are the no regret moments. Because the alternative is sitting on the end of his punches and getting hit with shots like that. Step back. Herring's got to free that hand Step and let back. both hands go. He's only hitting Shakur to the body with the left hand. Free the right hand up and let both shots go. And he needs to shorten his shots, too. You know, he's throwing over the head of Shakur Stevenson. Wow. Nice combination right up, there. Not everything landed. Overshooting. There, what did the worst Stevenson do? The smartest thing? He go. stepped inside and smothered the backhand of Herring. So the left hand was ineffective there. That time he was able to get to hands the body. Free, get Good there. sequence with both hands right Work there from there. Herring. Yep. Got to keep that up. Break. Don't punch. I got it. Bad Herring is marching forward with no jab. Good Herring is j the, j the Jamel Herring that's coming forward with the right jab, coming behind that with the straight lefts and the body shots with both hands. He's got to stay disciplined with that right jab. I like the body shots inside from Herring. Got to hit something. There's a short right to the body. Good short overhand left. Get your hands free. Step back out of there, guys. All right, break. I got it then. Stevenson won a featherweight title in just his 13th pro fight. Now fight number 17. He's looking to become a two-division world champion. Get your hands free. Step out of there. Break. I got it. Stop. Stop. Ten seconds. Obey the bell. You know, Jamel Herring didn't really fall prey to all the jawing, all the chirping going on throughout the week here in Atlanta. It was I don't think it's the way Bo Mack is saying, saying it is, but Bo Mack is doing his job. He's earning his money tonight. He has to encourage his fighter and try to make this man believe that he can still win this fight. Jamel Herring has been executing Bo Mack's game plan these last few rounds, getting inside, dirtying it up, but Shakur Stevenson is tougher rougher and better inside than anyone thought. That's the way Jamel Herring needs to answer a two, three punch combination from Shakur. He needs to answer with his own two or three punch combination. Shots like that. Break, don't punch, I got it. See, Stevenson has came in here in this fight with a made up mind. He just hurt. He just wow. hurt Heron with that. He hurt Heron with an uppercut. Two more headshots came in as well. Timmy, a few Break. years ago, Break. you and I were in New York and we were broadcasting a Shakur Stevenson fight. And I remember turning to you and saying, I think I'm starting to see the man strength yes. come out in Shakur Stevenson. Break. Tonight it has fully arrived. This is a strong, sturdy, thicker version of Shakur Stevenson, and it's at 130 pounds. And he's fighting a bigger, the biggest guy that he's ever faced in his entire career. He's fighting a true 130 pounder in Jamel Herring. Could very well be at 135 pounds. He was. Yeah, exactly. 
not just the best, I mean the biggest, but the best. Yes. The most accomplished as a professional. Gives up three inches to him, a guy who was at a higher weight class to begin with. Step back. Stop. Don't punch. I got it. Step back. Stevenson has let off the gas pedal a bit. And he's finding his opportunities to rest. See him come inside. Yep. He Put wants the opportunities there, to rest in there. I'll and Jamel Herring's Quick. allowing him to do that. I don't think he took his foot off the gas pedal. I mean, he's done a lot of good work for three quarters of this round. And he's just trying to see what Jamel Herring is going to do. Bring Jamel Herring Stop. to you and see if he can respond. And like if you can, clean, you know, stuff, land man. a good shot if he overcommits. Make a strategy over anything else. I think it's both. Get your hands free. Mm, he didn't want a low blow right there. I'll get you. Referee's doing a good job tonight, fellas. He's standing out of the way. That's what I like. I like refs that stay out of the way. That's Mark Nelson, a veteran. We've seen him many times through the years. And lands double digit power punches. He was 12 of 32 on power punches in that last round. Round number 10 Stop. Stop. for the Time. WBO 130 pound title. I'm gonna have a look at the cut, maybe. Ringside position is going to look at this cut on the right eye that just opened up in the last round. It's good. I just don't know where it is. I want you to just look at it. Dr. Jeff Traub has the duties with the Georgia Commission. We're good. Okay, neutral corner. Time in. Not sure if that little rest is going to benefit Jamel Harry or Shakur Stevenson the most. All I know is Shakur Stevenson see that blood, and I bet you he's going to attack that eye of Jamel Harry. Good at it. It's hard to see, especially when you got blood dripping down the eye. It's in the spot, it's above the eye, so it is definitely blurring his vision a bit, repairing his vision. Now the cut is worsening, and another left hand comes in. And look at these headshots from Shakur. Shakur isn't wasting any energy. He's very efficient, and he's landing clean shots at will right now. Efficient and sharp. So accurate and doing damage. He's got a little bit of an anger to him, too. That's what blood does. That is it. They are waving it off. This is a TKO victory for Shakur Stevenson, and he is a two division world champion. An absolute.
hurt or well, he is a little bit maybe he's just shaking off the rust. Now let me get my shoulders loose. That's what happens when you're in that Coming up in wake to the power punches landed for three rounds. Tyrone Spong failed his drug test and with his foot to loose it. Now Lisa goes to work. He's got with his foot in the corner and able to walk out with that quick counter. Back. Usually extremely active with it right away. There's no hesitation. Final minute of the fourth. Starts to open up the attack just a bit. Usyk steps in. Combinations right here. Nothing really landed cleanly on Witherspoon, but it's still mental pressure by, by, by Usyk on Witherspoon. Sometimes that's just going to be enough. He's giving all four rounds to Alexandre Pierre McNeely on Mike Tyson. For you kids out there, Sergio is on the undercard. He's not in a round. And that's at least in his life. Sergio, what do you think he should do here? Usyk's not really giving him much on Like that. Not a subtle move that he does. Look at this. He's going to land something in the Right there on Twitter, 38. It's the heaviest of his career. This will go. He is not. It didn't really land it effectively or on the money or on the button, but it did get to back up the bigger man. It looks like he's still trying to loosen up. I am peering in to cast. In between Severe. From the fair court, different what we've seen. Actors wait. I think he landed it. Yeah, look, Usyk true. Round six. The longest layoff. Thank you, Usyk. Usyk, and now some success. Usyk, he was very tired already. Last minute sub, Usyk. Here we see Usyk back up with a spoon against the ropes. With a spoon, it looks like he's getting a little fatigued and tired, and it's those left hands to the gut that have been doing it right there. The left uppercut, he came out around. Dealing with a different front. He's very impressive. He's impressive. You've heard the phrase over time. I do, because there have been multiple punches in that six, so he's winning the fight, winning easily. And if he did get one, thought it would be fascinating. Oh, into the corner after that, shaking out his hands and his elbows a few times. But that's with a spoon in the corner. Speed advantage, a head speed advantage. Quite a curve. But he's out landing with his spoon. Yeah, I agree with you, DK. It's not a heavyweight. We expect him. We expect him more power to try to hurt Witherspoon here. He will win. Sometimes content just to win, but that hurt Witherspoon. They go back into the corner. Who is taking a good long look? You see how close he's getting. Witherspoon tries to walk out. Final seconds. This fight is over. 